gonna do. Yeah, I should too. Hello. Everybody, <laughs> we're here live on Audio Tree. This band's called Gabby's World. What's up? My friend Lola's cutting class to watch us play. <laughs> Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're going to start. Here we go. That I feel small and dejected is as real as the snow reflected in the coffee table.
Ola and Lola are here. Check this out. This is Barry. She's playing with me today. Everyone say sup. Eddie? Yeah. some new songs and some oldies. Ready? Mm, one sec. Some album? Yeah. Barry's gonna switch to keyboard now, so bye. Now I get to be front and center. <laughs> How are you guys all doing down there? We got Jeff, we got Martha, we got Andy. The whole fam's here. <laughs> Is 
sounds quiet. This is quiet. Lola. Is it loud enough? We gotta make it loud for Lola. songs by myself now. Wanna chill there? Yeah. Cool.
That song takes the most possible concentration. So now we can go back and see what everybody said. Oh, thanks guys. Everyone's so nice in here. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, well, your Crocs are squeaking. My Crocs are squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> I got new Crocs today. I said I wasn't gonna say anything about it. But here we are. All right. All right. Eight, at 18 minutes, clocking in at the last song of the set. And then Blake's going to come hang out with me. Slow, like 
everybody I'm ready for you Blake I hope everybody's chilling <laughs> as much as you can <laughs> and yeah I think that it's just going to go right in. Here we go. Hey! Guys, hello. What's up? How are you doing? I am well. Good. I'm Can in the throes of, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, in the throes of chaos. Yeah, finals and chaos and. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> tell me, please, please tell me. Uh, for people in the chat, we're going to just talk for like 10 to 15 minutes. So any questions you have, go ahead and ask them and I'll try and read them off to Gabby. Um, I'm Blake, by the way, from Audio Tree. Um, yeah, so wait, so you're finishing school right now? I mean, I'm finishing my first semester of sophomore year. Okay, so. okay, cool. <laughs> Not quite finishing school, but finishing a semester, if you can call it that. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> did, you really go to all, did you go to all online? Yeah, yeah. We shifted like a month ago, and okay. yeah, that was when we decided to leave New York and just be away <laughs> okay yeah where did you where, where do you live now or did you did you move permanently or like with your family or anything like that we're up in Maine um we cool. did not move permanently though it feels really good here so it's like good. so it might might be accidentally long term <laughs> yeah or... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see <laughs> how are you doing where are you uh, I'm great. I'm currently, I live in Grand Rapids now, uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm currently in my child's bedroom. Uh, hence nice. the, uh, I set it up to make it all homey. You know, it's not normally this organized with all of these <laughs> creatures, but uh, we'll see if uh, he's coming home eventually. My wife's picking him up right now, so he might join us in the chat as nice. well. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, Grand Rapids is funny. Like being from Chicago, I mean, I wonder... I, I'd be curious about your move then to uh, Maine and if you feel this, especially from New York, you know, um, like it's funny to feel how um, some people are really closed off here. And it's surprising to me because I would think like in a town that's small, you'd be more willing to be like happy to be yourself. But I think it's like they huh. know all the same people. Right. And right. they've known a lot people for quite some time versus in a city like Chicago where it's a lot of transplants you know mm -hmm. like people from other places so they're just used to meeting different people with different experiences do you I mean maybe you haven't been in Maine long enough but do you feel that like yeah I mean I don't really know anybody here and mm -hmm. there's almost nobody here <laughs> so because this is more of a summer summer community oh okay cool so we're just like some some weirdos alone with a couple of other friends weirdos <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> i think we're Is the like... we're the weirdos of the town so <laughs> okay cool yes what's so... like been okay so like rural i mean that or small town i guess means sort of different things but what's the sort of reception or the feeling about all of this like coronavirus stuff over there 
Um, I don't know. It's like Maine is Maine was pretty. Um, well, I mean, Maine has like a low incidence rate of COVID. Okay. People, so it's like less. Um, I it's it's weird because I went from New York before it was crazy. Yeah. To, okay. Here, where it's still, I think, before it's crazy. So yeah, sure, sure. It's hard to say. Uh, I mean, everybody's like wearing masks in the post office. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But also, we were we spent like an hour in the post office today, having a really sweet uh, small town experience. So, which I've never like experienced talk before. Talking to people or, or no what? like trying to troubleshoot a problem that they spent an hour with us trying to figure oh, out and it was like oh, oh my god, god i grew up in new york that literally never happened yeah they, they so. just be like leave. like you will not you will not yeah you just you thing. won't have access to your mail like go away yeah. sorry <laughs> see you later like <laughs> yeah whereas i was that successful i got i got my crocs yes <laughs> crocs yes <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you out there, like, with any intent? Obviously, this whole thing changes, you know, people's worldview and all that. But, like, with any intent to write music or, like, with a focus on any of that? Or are you just kind of, like, letting that sit while you live your life right now? I definitely intend to work on music. Um, I keep doing it as a way of procrastinating uh, my oh. finals. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I... It's funny, like, we were talking to our friend recently who was saying, like, yeah, it just seems like, you know, this would be such a great time to write music, but I've been doing this thing that I call potatoing, where I just don't do anything. <laughs> it just feels so good, and I feel like oh, I need to give myself yeah. permission to potato because I never get a chance to do this, and also I'm really depressed. <laughs> and it yeah. was like, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I feel that. Oh, I so, but, I so agree. Yeah, I so trying agree. not to potato, but also trying to give myself permission to do it at the same time. Yeah, I think that's, I think there needs to be a healthy balance. I've luckily been able to still do teletherapy with like my human therapist who I have yeah. been friends with for a couple of years now. So it's easy, uh, you know, it's not the same. But one thing that she talks about is like, this is an insanely stressful time for like everyone involved, right? No matter how you uh, see this happening or no matter how closely involved you are to anyone who's sick, blah, blah, blah. My wife works in healthcare. So it's kind of right in my face all the time, right? But, yeah. um, but like, no matter what, you have to give yourself space to decompress in a, in a like very it's okay to sit on your couch day. That's what I'm trying to say. Not every day, <laughs> all day, but it is okay. You know, like that's, you need to, your body is going to like freak out and then your mind's going to follow like, right. Or who knows which is first, you know? Totally. Yeah. It's been interesting. I think that we've, we've recently maxed out on how much um, TikTok we can watch before we start <laughs> seeing like zero likes videos. Oh um, God. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out we've been watching a lot of um orangutan youtube videos what, what? Um, just there's orangutan doing like... stuff yeah actually. Awesome. um it's like a smithsonian channel youtube um orangutan jungle school oh. and uh it's marvelous so Dude, they are highly they recommend are it Yes, I will. I, I will definitely check it out. I volunteer to, I live right by the zoo. Like I can walk to the zoo and, and um, uh, volunteered there the first summer lived here. And so all summer I just did animal care and followed around the zookeepers and shit. But they would tell me insane stories about specific <laughs> apes and how smart yeah. they are. They're like yeah. stuff, they'll unlock doors and they'll steal people's shoes and stuff like mm -hmm. just for fun because they're like super intelligent beings, you know? Totally. That they're, that's what I've been studying for the past few semesters at school. Oh, cool. So, cool. Yeah. yeah someone, credit to someone, uh, Lakita something asked that question, what you're majoring in. So zoology or like, um, or, or well, what? I haven't declared my major yet because I'm sort of having a major crisis. 
Um, okay. Where I thought Maybe. I was going to study human evolutionary biology, and now I'm second guessing myself. So okay. we'll see. But I yeah. do, I took this primate anatomy class last semester, and that seems to be the thing that gets me going. So Ooh, that was hell. Yeah. And I bet that there's got to be, that's got to cross over, right? The Venn diagram between human evolutionary biology and like ape stuff has got to be, oh, not the same, but similar. Totally. Yeah. I mean, we are apes. So. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble with my bio professor recently for referring to something as ape-like versus human-like. She was like, oh. no, She's like, that's apes. not a Oh, that's interesting that they and wouldn't distinguish. I was like, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's kind of a weird, that's, that's not like perfectly true though, right? Like our toddlers are smarter than like chimpanzee toddlers, right? Or am I wrong about that? It uh, depends what you think of as smart. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what the parameters of deciding what intelligence is are. Like, I guess they can probably solve problems about as well as we can, right? They can definitely yeah, do more physical stuff. Yeah, it's like they, I mean, it's hard to say. We have, they, they have really um, sick tool use practices that we oh, discovered sure. sort of recently. But like, and problem solving is pretty, pretty sick. But also they're, uh, they, they, I feel like they're just like dorks. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like goofy, you mean, or like? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hey, they're like they just a goofy like baby. Do... Yeah, because they like to do silly stuff, right? Yeah, like, un that's... until they get. Scary. I bet we could hurt. Yeah, yeah, and then they're like scary strong. That's the thing that intimidates yeah. me. Again, the zoo. They said that the scariest like place is the chimpanzee house. Like way yeah. scarier than any of the others because they'll like eat your face if <laughs> if you the wrong thing you know like they're incredibly strong and like fight in pass and they're really smart about like tactical stuff crazy totally um uh for for audience questions wolf asks, can you describe a specific moment in a show when the set felt magic i assume that's what he means can you describe a specific um, moment in a show magic set magic, magic set, set maybe he means i don't know um I'm going to roll with your interpretation. Um, specific moment in a show when it, set, when it felt magic. Okay. Um, well, does it count if it's not my own show, if I'm playing in somebody else's band? Um, I went on tour with Y recently, and um, there's this song, Gemini Birthday Song, that's my favorite song ever, and I have... I think so. It's one of the hardest oh, yeah. songs I've ever yeah. had to learn how to play. <laughs> and um, the first time I played it completely correctly on stage, I felt like my feet were like rising off of the ground. Cool. And uh, that was sick. Any other magic moments? Also, I, um, I did an experimental set uh, in December where that is I played amazing. I with Barry and my friend Sophie. And we did a three-part harmony set on, like, every song. And I feel like that entire experience was pretty magical. Cool. <laughs> I can tell that you're saying a lot of things right now, but I can't hear oh, you. Oh, that sounds cool. Did you, is any of that recorded anywhere? Or that, that was just a live thing? Um, my friend Chris made a video of every single song, so it is recorded. Can you hear me now? Or did I not speak to you? No, I got you. Um, yeah, it is recorded, but I, it's not released. Oh. Maybe I'll release yes. those. Yes, cool. cool. I'd be super curious. Okay, yeah. okay cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll send them to you privately. <laughs> yeah, Bye. maybe. Yeah, I was just curious because I'd love to hear them. For sure. Uh, Oakley's going to run in here real quick. You yes. Oh, please, please do. Hey, do you, you want to say hi? This is my boy. I have two boys, but this is Oakley. He's a How rascal. How old is Oakley? He's a good one. Can you 
Oh my say hi to Gabby. Gosh. Hi. Can you say hi? Oh, he's not. He's not interested in performing. Apparently, just being. Oh my god. Just being cute. <laughs> Bye, Okerberg. Bye. I'm almost done. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> Blake left. <laughs> um, cool. Well, I feel like uh, this is a good moment to cut it off. So, <laughs> thanks everyone for hanging out. <laughs> Ma, bye.